It took one coach decades to make one dream become a reality. But all that came crashing down within seconds, destroying everything he's ever worked for. Just over 20 years ago, Luis Pardo left his home in Chile to play college soccer in the U.S. After that, he wound up in Mayfield. And 14 months ago, he used his life savings to start the soccer factory, which is a year-round training facility. I wanted to give something back to our community uh, by teaching the way that I was teach soccer. And Nia Haley says the soccer factory became her second home. Besides family, that's all I've known. I mean, I've played since I can remember. The facility that Porto built mostly with his own two hands was destroyed in the matter of seconds. You, you never, you know, uh, think that something uh, is going to come in, in less than, you know, 10 minutes take, you know, 15, 20 years of work. And the day after the tornado, Pardo says dozens of his students and their families came to help him clean up the debris. And after that, something magical happened. And the kids, right after we cleaned up, you know, they went and started playing a game in the same spot where the field was. It was incredible. And like, they didn't care uh, if it was wood, glass. Teammates tell me they just wanted to play where they find peace. This is a place that everybody loved and we didn't want to just stop, so we decided that we would keep on playing here. And until it's time to rebuild, coaches, parents and players are now finding comfort through the chaos that surrounds them through sports. That's what soccer does, you know, it, it unites people. Now, Pardo tells me that he does have other businesses within this area that were also destroyed by that tornado. He tells me, though, the number one focus right now is the soccer facility. In Mayfield, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.